because of the communist regime are the interesting pieces of machinery, although they might not have been as high-tech as western vehicles. You may have thought that there were only civil cars, but no, there were plenty of race cars as well as sports cars, part of which you will get to know from the following list. Skoda 130RS The Skoda 130RS is the biggest legend of our region. It's been already over 40 years since it was initially introduced and it is so popular that people often take their 110Rs and modify them to look and be as close to the original 130RS as possible. It featured an 8-channel head and a 4-speed gearbox. <laughs> Tatra 607 Monoposto We already know that Tatra cars are cool and full of character. Before the glory of T603 came to the world, there was the 607 Monoposto race car shown to the public with an air-cooled 2.5 liter V8. It started with a 163 horsepower, but in the 607 2 version it was capable up to 200 horsepower in the 1950s. It was achieved by an incredible high compression ratio of 12.5 to 1, larger intake valves and twin 4-barrel Weber carburetors. FSO Sirena Sport The Sirena name is commonly connected with the small two-stroke coupe from Poland. The same year they introduced this Sport variant, which was initially meant only as a test platform. The engine was completely new, although it was fitted with a couple of accessories from a French car called the Panhard Dyna. Gas GL1 The Gas GL1 was based around the Gas M1, which was underpinned by a different manufacturer's chassis, the 1933 Ford. It also shared a flathead inline 4, which was revamped to make 15 more horsepower over the stock car. Later on, in 1940, a 100 horsepower inline 6 was put in, with which it managed to be one of the fastest cars from the USSR at the time, with a top speed of 101 miles per hour. Skoda 130LR The 130LR succeeded the 130RS four years after the older model was discontinued. It was current until 1989 and the company also wanted to race in the Group B category with it. But the project appeared to be unbearably expensive and would require resources needed for the more important development of the favorite civil model. <laughs>
Malkus RS1000. The Malkus RS1000 was a unique sports car, underpinned by a leather frame with an independent front and rear suspension. The longitudinally mounted mid-engine came from the Warburg 353 and was tuned for higher power. The 5-speed manual was taken from the Barca's B1000 van, with which it could reach 103 miles power. Lada 2105 BFTS There was a company in Vilnius, Lithuania, which took the popular 2105 and modified it from the ground up to a full-spec race car, homologated for WRC and Group B. The engine was originally 1300cc, but as an enlarged unit it reached 1600cc, up to 160 horsepower, and a good amount of torque. Only 30 examples were produced altogether. Skoda 110R. The 110R is sort of a sporty version of the Skoda 110 and is popular to be rebuilt as a replica of the Skoda 130 RS. This effect is not really appreciated by purists as it gets rarer. Altogether, almost 57,000 were built and an interesting fact is that not only was the 130 RS based on it, there was also the 180 RS and 200 RS using this chassis. Oh. <laughs> 